Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly Post Apocalyptic Buildings. Simple asset, but let's take a look at it. So, demo scene, always good to see. And we have five buildings which are all unique, which is always good to see. And to be honest, when you go in, you can really see the detail in there. So, although they look like they could just be used for background, as it were, like in the distance of some kind of post-apocalyptic yeah, post game, I'll learn to speak one day, um, they could actually be utilized in a couple of different ways. So, you could attach some collides on here and actually have your own kind of internal buildings if you wanted to. So quality, it's low poly, but for low poly, it still looks good because remember, you can always just apply some post-processing and make things look even cooler, I guess. Um, so quality wise, I really think it's down to what you want to make it as. So if I just change the lighting there, you can see we have that kind of effect on it. So yeah, quality wise, that looks kind of cool. Just keep in mind it is low poly, uh, so there's no massive detail on there, but that's not to say you couldn't modify this yourself and make it however you want it to look. Quantity wise, we get these five buildings and obviously the plane it's sat on as well. Um, and it does say buildings plural, so you would expect more than one and we get five. So extras, I don't think there's much in the way of extras, to be honest. Um, I mean, you get the usual stuff here, the prefabs, texture materials, whatever else. So not really a, any extras here. How easy is it to use? Incredibly easy because we've got all the prefabs here. We could literally just drag and drop things and it, it really is as simple as that. A couple of different variations like you can see there. So I guess in, in some ways maybe like, mm, nah, do you know what? I, I don't think I, you can really count this as extras to be honest because I would say that these are complete buildings in some respects. So yeah, but it's easy to use in that way. Just drag and drop. Perfect. There you go. How customizable is it? Well, again, it's all about how you want your scene to look and how you want to work with it because you could change the material on the buildings and give it, I don't know, a big blue kind of tint, I guess, if you wanted to go for some crazy whacked out look. So customization wise, yeah, easy. You can do whatever you want with it. I like it as it is the whole gray thing. Uh, how useful is it? Well, I'd say it's pretty useful, definitely for a backdrop. If you want some, you know, decimated buildings in the background somewhere that you're never going to be able to get to these will do absolutely fantastic because they are low poly even in a more detailed game because they they would be in the background it wouldn't matter quite so much because your level of detail um usefulness in terms of actually playable area if you're creating a low poly uh, survival kind of game then yeah i think these would do quite well even if it's not quite as low poly as you would expect they still might be able to work in some manner folders all neatly laid out as i always like to see because it really helps you find things much easier rather than having folders in folders in folders and then just a mess everywhere else uh, the size of all of this is fairly small at just under four meg which is brilliant i like that price free always good to see but remember prices do change from time to time they go up they come down they go up again they come down so if it's not free when you get around to seeing this video then you know maybe hold off till it is free or if you're prepared to pay a couple of bucks for it i'd say yeah why not i actually quite like this asset in a lot of ways um there's just something about it i think a lot of care and attention has gone into it despite it being low poly as it were if we look around in it i actually really like how it looks so, as you guys know, I don't uh, rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And, yeah, I think I'd recommend this if you are creating a style of game which you feel these would fit into. Like I say, for a background, these would be absolutely fantastic. You could have these scattered all the way over a background to give an illusion of a decimated city. And I think it would work quite well. So I would definitely definitely recommend it in that respect. So if you're looking to prototype something, you're a beginner's unity, you want to prototype some kind of post-apocalyptic game, then yeah, I think these would do quite well. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Um, what do you think of it if you have? Uh, let me know if you've modified it in any way and what yours looks like now. And if you've got any assets on the asset store, link me to them because I would love to check them out. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with all kinds of reviews like this, as well as loads and loads of tutorials for you to learn all in Unity. Guys, thank you very much for watching.